Hey guys, welcome to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play chess with ChatGPT. So this is going to be a very easy one and it's actually pretty cool. We'll actually be needing two websites for this one. So first, we'll be needing a website that actually will represent the visual representation of our match. And also, we'll be needing the ChatGPT window here. So first thing is you want to go to chess.com and maybe consider creating your account. So once you've gone to chess.com, we want to then open up our ChatGPT. So to access ChatGPT, you want to go to openai.com and from here, you just want to hover over products and just click on it and you want to select ChatGPT. Now in here, we want to just scroll down a bit until you see the try on web option. And from here, it's going to pop up a new tab on our window here so if you haven't logged in into your account go ahead and logged in but if you don't have an account yet then maybe consider creating an account here so you can actually create your account very very easily by just using your google account and chat chat.openai.com now from here the first thing that you want to do here is we want to actually create a new chat here so once you're in the new chat, you just want to type in the following. Let's play chess. Then from here, it's going to give you uh, prompts on how to play chess here. But I do have to warn you with using chess here on ChatGPT. Sometimes the visual repre representation on the UI here that you see in the TSS window here is not exactly exactly the correct output of their moves. So I would suggest you to actually use the text text based for this game here to play chess with ChatGPT. So we actually move something here. Like for example, I want to move my piece here. So for example, I want to move my pawn on a2 to a3 so let's say i'm going to say a2 a3 and just hit on enter then from here sometimes it's not gonna show you the correct movement of your pieces here and yeah as you can see i move my pawn from a2 to a3 but as you can see it is not correct it moved my pawn on d2 to uh e3 so that's kind of confusing. This is not actually allowed. So I would suggest you to actually use or play with ChatGPT on a text-based type of chess game. So let's go back and delete this one. Just click on the delete or trash can icon here. Just click on the check and that would actually delete our chat. Now here, just type in again, let's play chess without any visuals. And just hit on enter then from here it's going to give you prompts on how you could actually play the game on with, with chat gpt here so here it is the instructions and how you actually play the game as you can see it actually uh, the play playing the game is actually very very simple so if you want to move one piece from cert from a certain location you just want to indicate the location and the final destination here but if is if it's actually not a pawn then you'll have to indicate the actual letter of the piece that you're moving so for example if you're moving a knight it, that would actually be represented as an n so if you're moving your queen, it's at actually represented as a Q. If you're moving your king, it's represented as a K. So to get started here, you just want to send your first move. So this is where chess.com comes in handy. So here we want to go to chess.com and from here we want to go to learn and here just click on analysis. Then from here, we'll have the chess layout. So as you can see, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and so on. So from here, if you want to move your pawn here, let's say for example, this is A2. Then from here, we want to move it to A3. So let's just say A2 to A3 and just hit on enter. Then from here, that's my move. So the move from chat gpt or uh, its move is actually e7 to e5 so from here i just want to move this one and since this is e7 to e5 so this e 
then from here I want to move this to 5 and from then on you could just basically battle chat GPT with the answers sending here and just moving the pieces here on chess.com and that's basically it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.